It's community yard sale day, y'all. My neighborhood is having their community yard sale this morning, so Garrett and I got up bright and early at like 7 a.m. and we headed out because he had to be at work at 10. So we went to as many as we could and I actually ended up finding everything I found was vintage, almost everything. So I wanna share that shopping footage with y'all and then I'll bring you back here and share the haul with you. All right, this first sale that I'm starting at, a man actually posted on our Facebook page for the neighborhood that he was gonna have some collectibles and antiques. So I made sure to stop by his sale first. And as you can see, things are priced a little high. I liked this terrine, it was a California pottery piece, uh, but he had it priced at $18 and that's way too high for me. Also, I did purchase this little cast iron girl. I forgot to show it in the haul. I need to go out to my truck and see if it rolled under the seat. Uh, but it was $3 and I thought it would make a really cute door stopper. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we weren't able to really take our time because I had to have Garrett back home to head out for work. Um, so we started at 8 a.m. and we were able to shop till about 9.45. Uh, but we still made it to a decent amount of sales, but we're both really awkward about garage sales. Like I just don't like going to them alone because the people always like kind of hover and I don't know, the whole experience just makes me really uncomfortable. And then adding filming on top of that, y'all, I'm just weird. He had this like bright orangish red suitcase priced at $50, which I really was confused by that because why? Why so high? This was such a pretty piece. It was super heavy. The handles were like a porcelain and I think $4 was a really good price. I didn't bring it home. I just don't have the space and I have too many um, silver pieces. This lady had a lot of bird cages, like decorative bird cages. I have one of these or else I would have absolutely picked this up for a dollar. Luckily, the first two sales that we're watching here um, were priced. I really prefer that over having to walk up and ask how much something is, but what can you do? It's a garage sale. I feel like if I had a garage sale, which I've never done, I would have everything priced ahead of time. I know y'all are gonna be mad at me for not purchasing this because it was $5 and it came with all the hat pins. I only liked the cameo ones and I did not even like the little uh, hat pin holder. I don't know what those are called, but I left it there and someone else who appreciates it will like it much better than me. This sale, she wanted like $20 for all of these individually. So I filmed just this table and walked away. You know, I should have asked this man how much he wanted for these coasters. I remember him having them out last year as well, but I like how they stack and um, I just like them. I don't know why I didn't ask. I was also hoping to find some cool vintage jewelry or brooches, but I didn't have any luck this day. Um, but in the end, I'm just shocked with how many vintage pieces I saw this day in general. <laughs>
I did like this little planter, but I decided I didn't like the pattern on it and how shiny it was. This was so cool. I loved it. It looked like an Ethan Allen piece to me, but I couldn't find a name on it anywhere. And I didn't get to really film a good look at it because there were people behind me waiting to look at it. But I told Garrett, if we hadn't purchased that curved curio cabinet in the dining room, that is a piece I would have been asking to bring home. This man had so many vintage Avon bottles, uh, maybe cologne. I didn't open any of them up because to be honest, I like the boxes more than the actual bottles. A few years ago, my farmhouse, vintage farmhouse loving self would have been so excited to find that rolling pin and this cheese grater. I probably would have got some of these jewelry pieces, but this is what I'm talking about, y'all. I felt so awkward that I wasn't even paying attention to what I was looking at because the lady was so close to me, like an inch away from me, and I just, why am I like this? So I'm thinking the person doing this sale used to do like uh, craft fairs maybe, like shabby chic craft fairs. She had those flowers, a lot of paints, and then just wait until you see the amount of baskets that she had.
look at all this good patinaed silverware. I wanted to just scoop it all up and run. I'm just kidding, but I did bring home a couple of things from this sale. These lavender bundles were so beautiful at five dollars a piece though um, I left them there I do have a real lavender wreath that I never pull out because I'm so afraid of it breaking off and shattering so maybe I should take it apart and try to display it in a bundle like that As I was looking through this box, she shouted out that I could take the whole thing for $5, but once I was looking through it, I realized I already had most of these pieces, so I did just leave these there. I actually am in the middle of donating a lot of my silver pieces that I'm not using. Let's jump into this haul. I'm gonna save my favorite piece for last. Also, I'm gonna start with the first item, which is the largest item that I brought home. So I'll insert a clip. Um, I did bring home that large oval wooden mirror with the hooks on it. Now it is missing one hook at the end, um, but I see those or that style of hook often at antique stores and like salvage parts and stuff. So I think I'll be able to find a replacement and if not exact, um, I might just replace all four with the same style hook. It was $3 y'all and I'm not leaving that there for $3. I really want to put it in the guest bedroom on the wall and do like a little gallery wall and I just think it would look really good in there. So for $3, it's absolutely coming home with me. And then I found two vintage Bibles. These are actually from the 70s. This black one is just like a standard black Bible. I love this sound. And then this one was a custom Bible given to um, whoever it was, someone's mother in 1975. And this uh, kind of like design, I thought would look really good in our bedroom where it's like Victorian themed. So yeah, $4 for two vintage Bibles. I thought that was a good deal. I'm not sure when I'll stop buying these types of frames. I have so many, um, but this was only 25 cents and I love to put little Victorian photos in them. So I had to have this. I found a vintage cloth. This one's pretty mid-century looking. It was only 50 cents. So that is a good deal for these clocks. Um, I don't have many of these, so um, I was happy to find it. And these are really good to just style like little side tables or nightstands. It's white. And then from that same place, I found this little deer figurine. It was only 50 cents. Isn't it so cute? It's not stamped or anything, but I love the little glazed figurines like that, miniatures. Found some ribbon. These were in a box for 25 cents a piece. Got a dark blue and then a medium blue, which will come in handy when I decorate here in the summertime. I like to tie ribbons off stuff. And speaking of blue and white, I found this plate. 
Now, I think this is just like a reproduction piece because the stamp doesn't look old and it says dishwasher safe. Here's what it says there. But I thought the image on this was so pretty. I love these little like Victorian or Edwardian couple. It's just so pretty. It looks like a little transferware piece. So um, that was a dollar. And then from that same guy, I got this little spoon for 50 cents. It says Rogers Brothers. And then I got two more spoons, or wait, from that same man, I paid a dollar for these three skeleton keys. And I collect these as well. My camera's not focusing today. I collect these as well, so I was happy to find these. I haven't um, found a way to display all of them together yet. I was surprised by how much vintage and antique silverware I was seeing at places. Um, but I'm trying to dial back on collecting just any types, but these little spoons are some of my favorite things to collect. So I picked up these for a dollar each, and I wanna say these are like children's spoon or baby spoons. The handle of this one's really pretty. Okay, now y'all know I was gonna bring home some of these vintage hats that we saw for 25 cents a piece. Now these are not in mint condition. They do have some, um, little stain spots or some tears but for 25 cents who cares this one is so cute and these will be styled in the bedroom somehow i recently got a suitcase that i want to style open with a bunch of stuff in it and then i got this one as well it has like all these white bird feathers all over them and little i think these are called mil i can never pronounce the word millinery mil millinery flowers don't know and then it has like a little brown velvet bow tied here and I just thought it was so cute. It does have some missing spots where the feathers came off. Um, and I'm going to try to glue this down here. But like I said, I plan to just display these kind of like stacked on top of each other. And for 25 cents, who cares if they're messed up? I'm going to bring them home. <laughs> okay, I found this really cool kind of silver plate metal planter for only $3. And I loved the feet. Now I'm going to use this as not a planter and I want to put it in the bedroom with things in it like these little hats would look really good in here. Kind of stacked in there like that. Or I have a couple of um, English writing hats that I could stack in here as well. I've actually seen that on Pinterest so when I saw this thing that is what I was like, oh girl you need to get that. I thought this little brass vase was so beautiful. Um, it has kind of like this flower and bird detail right here has some little patina spots. I just thought it was really pretty to display maybe like a bouquet of dried flowers or any flowers. I actually realized the other day that I don't have many vase options. Um, I always skip through that section at the thrift stores and really I need something smaller and like squattier but I couldn't leave this behind. It was five dollars but I liked it enough and this was one of the last places I stopped so I was like girl just spend all your money. Okay, now the last item, I am completely shocked that I found this, especially around here in this neighborhood. And I feel like when y'all saw it, you knew I was gonna bring it home. Look at this vintage, I don't know if it's a suitcase, a briefcase, I'm gonna call it a, well maybe it's a suitcase because it has this tag on here, but it is so cool. I actually need to clean it still, but it's about to rain. Um, I would say this is maybe from the mid-century sometime. The zipper is definitely kind of falling apart, so I don't wanna open it up. And then look, it has this cool kind of locking feature for the zipper right here. If that's showing up. I just think that's so cool. You can unlock the zipper. That is so neat. So I think I'm gonna put that on top of my vintage suitcases. And if I like the way it looks, I'll insert a clip over it here so you can see what that looks like. Um, and I paid $5 for that, which is an amazing deal. I am so excited to have found that. y'all that is everything that I picked up while out shopping at yard sales today I hope you enjoyed coming along with me if you did please give this video a thumbs up let me know if you saw anything that you would have purchased or let me know what your favorite thing is that I purchased um, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye